of the owners we've met so far have described their homes as a blank canvas on which to paint their dreams. Now our next artist owner has taken this quite literally. <laughs> A house with a split personality was the idea behind the renovation of this 1770s London Terrace home. Bought by an Italian painter for £45,000 15 years ago, the house is in two separate parts. An all-white studio on one side and three floors of living accommodation on the other, with a kitchen at the top of the house. I wanted to create an atmosphere of what the house would have been, perhaps, but not necessarily a period house. I was just wanted to do something rather nice and pleasant. <laughs> this entrance is very London. And in fact, I was going to make panelling for this, and it was going to be silly and they were going to reduce the space so a fat person could not even go upstairs. So the thing to do was to tromboy to make a painting and to paint the panelling matching the panelling upstairs and I think that were very successful. This is a bathroom, a bedroom, the very intimate part of the house. Uh, I trying to create an, an installation, uh, uh, there are a chunk of frescoes attached to the walls. I just put them all around the, the, the room and create like a collection of stones and marbles. One of the reasons why I don't get tired of this perhaps is the fact that because they are marbles and they are blind, they look like blind people because in those days the, the eyes would have been painted etc. But now they are not follow you anywhere. They are okay. You don't have to feel paranoid about them, you know. The floor is like a floor with cracks indicating certain age. And also the loo, you know. Uh, I thought it would help the look of the, of the room. The floor is very important in the kitchen because uh, I like that. It's a happy floor and may the kitchen survive in terms of design. When you start painting something, you cannot stop. So, after the floor have to be the chairs and after the chairs have to be the table. studio where everything happened in terms of my work as a painter, as an artist. The house was designed specifically for my needs and this is very selfish but this is what it is. Well it is impractical because when you go upstairs with all the shopping or if you have a dinner party normally I have it here, it is really a hard work to bring the food from the fourth floor to, to this basement. This is a very beautiful house because it's, I, I put a lot of love into this and all my expertise as, a, as an artist. So, art is beautiful and it's an art house. Well, you'd know an artist lived there, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, it well, just shouts artist. Yeah. Well, anyone with a happy floor gets my vote. I mean, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it was a happy floor. <laughs> floor <wasn't> fantastic. But <laughs> well, he said, he said, when you start painting, you cannot stop. <laughs> and he, he has not stopped. That's the fact he's an yeah. artist. The whole house is a, is a canvas. He has a very different place he works and a mm. different oh, place yeah. he lives. And they're different scales as lovely. well. I mean, he's been really very lucky. Fine. But also I liked with, you see, with this. I mean, oh, this must it. be the ultimate picture, isn't it? Great. This is his bathroom, which was quite clever because it opened straight after his I was going to say, it's bedroom. not just his bathroom, yeah, it's his, his bedroom, bedroom as well. Because well, it's quite totally tight. Total different way of thinking about yeah. the space. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, it's yeah. brought the two together. together, and of course, his great paintings. And I can imagine everyone thinking, "How do we do that?" Well, get a photocopier machine and just paste them onto the walls. That's a sort. Of, it's my tip, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I love his attitude. He's kind of. This is that a wonderful, a happier floor, but it's things like if you haven't got a skirting board, 
paint it. And if there's a light switch, uh, power socket in the way, yeah. just paint over it or even half of it. That's a true uh, artist, uh, isn't it? In lifestyle terms, we have to address the fact that he has put the the kitchen on the top floor yeah. and he eats mm. full floors oh, down. Oh yeah, I agree with And you. I can just see, you yeah, know, you think, all right, we'll do soup tonight. And yeah. Yeah. You need brown <laughs> carpets yeah. and serve brown soup. So, Is it that he hasn't really considered the lifestyle? Very probably, because if you went into a normal house and the kitchen was on the top floor and the dining room was on the ground floor, and actually there was no wall between the bathroom and a bedroom. I think you actually stand there and scratch your head and say, then, what's this all yeah. about? Because yeah. this is, is not practical. No. Mm. But, but that's is this all man artists, is it? But this man isn't, 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 isn't it? This house is definitely Ricardo and nobody else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, and what a nice man. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to be scoring that at the end of today's show.